Spain's most explosive fiesta. Las Fallas in Valencia attracts tourists from around the world with fireworks, street parties and paper mache masterpieces that are built to burn. Valencia was the last stop on the old silk route and between the firecrackers and the traditional silk dresses there is a strong Chinese connection. The 2023 edition of Las Fallas has coincided perfectly with the reopening of the Chinese tourist market. Here in Valencia, in uh, Fallas, we have the beautiful sunshine and my emotion is like this. It's kind of like sunshine. I'm so happy to be back to the global travel. <laughs> Gorgeous. Festivals like this one are a huge hit amongst tourists traveling to Spain and help keep alive traditions that sometimes date back hundreds of years. While this one might not be quite as well known as the running of the bulls in Pamplona or the tomato throwing festival La Tomatina, Las Fallas brings in over $60 million for the local economy. Almost a million Chinese tourists arrived in Spain in 2019 and they left more in the local economy per person than visitors from any other nation. China is by far the biggest outgoing tourist market on the planet. Chinese travelers took 155 million trips in 2019, spending over $255 billion abroad. This group of tour operators, journalists and influencers has been brought by the Tourism España office from Shanghai, Beijing, Hong Kong, Shenzhen and beyond to promote Spain back home. This is the first time that uh, Chinese uh, tour operators and journalists uh, go out from China and come to Europe and Spain has been the, the first country to organize uh, that. In this case they are coming to Valencia and they are enjoying uh, Las Fallas. The Festival of Fire in Valencia is all about spring exploding into life. 2023 marks the first year that it's back to almost full strength since the pandemic. And fiestas like this help Spain's tourist economy generate around 15% of GDP annually. These fallas are painstakingly conceived and crafted during the year by artists, carpenters and sculptors only to be burned in one great cathartic night on the festival's final day. But as local Valencians will tell you, it's what rises again from the ashes that really counts. Ken Brown, CTTN, Valencia.